Hi guys, I am doing my changing video with Canny today. Kiana. Kiana. Okay. Somebody might be able to help me out with this. Crystal and I tried to figure this out. She was named by Cynthia, or CC. And her name is K I Y A N A. Kayana, I think is how you say it. I always say it wrong. I'm not 100% sure on how to say her name. So anyways, I am doing her changing video, although she looks super cute in the sleeper from Auntie Angela. And there's a piece of my daughter's hair on it. But I will be changing her into this Koala Baby um, romper like I did yesterday with Ireland. It's one of those dress, it's like a, I wouldn't even call it a romper. It's like a onesie that has a dress attached to it. So there's no bloomers. And this is a Koala Baby newborn as well. I don't remember where I got this one, this particular one. I don't know if I got it for Crystal or if I bought it at a consignment sale. But anyways, this one is got the ruffled edge on the top like yesterday except for it's like a almost a salmony color pink and I forgot yesterday's the color it wasn't it was kind of like a minty aqua color like on camera when I watched the video later it looked totally mint but it's not totally mint in person it, it's a weird color this one is kind of a pinky like a bright salmon color is what I would call it. And it's once again white with that salmon color polka dots. The onesie part is that salmony pink color. And on the bottom of this one it has a strawberry, a white daisy, a bumblebee, a straw, and a white daisy. Now this is super cute but the OCD in me says that the strawberry, one of the strawberries and flowers should be flipped. Instead of strawberry flower bee, strawberry flower since there's not another bee over there. To be strawberry flower bee straw or flower strawberry. That's just my OCDness. So, anyways, I am going to change her and I am going to do a little bit on about me and my journey in this community. I know I I believe I've done this before. Jack, go. Um, I believe I've done this before in a video. I don't fully remember. I may have touched upon it in a video, but not gone into real depthness of becoming an adult collector. Collectors, adult collector. Um, so, uh, I have a blog that I don't really update as often. I don't do as much on it as I do on YouTube. But I have written a few things on it, so I'm going to be reading directly from my blog. Um, and it starts out, my adult journey started after my boyfriend, now husband, and I were taking a trip to the mall just after Christmas when I visited him where he was living. There was a small, there was a mall stand selling realistic sized baby dolls called My Way Babies. I fell in love with one of the pre-made dolls. I thought it looked like my boyfriend as a child, which I had seen pictures of him at that point. Um, there was a sale since it was closing for the season, so my bought, boyfriend bought him for me. I also picked out a few outfits to go with him. A few weeks later, I was at Toys R Us picking out a birthday present for my little cousin. I wandered into the doll aisle and saw a doll-sized Graco pack and play. I thought it would be great for my new little addition. I only had enough money to buy the birthday presents, so I tucked the pack and play in the back of my mind and thought, and that night was talking to my boyfriend, and I mentioned it. He was a bit confused, so I pulled it up on Toys R Us website and messaged him the link. Now, mind you guys, um, this was back, yes, we had cell phones and we talked on the phone quite a bit, but... This was back before unlimited texting and such, and like video, not video messengers, that really was on well, there. There was webcams, but um, that was like usually, we would usually talk through like 
Facebook Messenger or Yahoo, not Facebook, MSN Messenger or Yahoo Messenger at night. Like we'd call each other, we'd talk for about five, ten minutes, and then we'd switch over to that because obviously doing it that way it was free. And if we used our cell phones, like we literally had to pay per a minute to talk. So, and you only got so many minutes included in your plan, and it was typically like an hour per a month. It wasn't very many minutes. So that's where I said I looked it up and messaged it to him. He was a bit confused. Okay. While on the site, I started reading the reviews. The pack and play... On the pack and play, one review mentioned an electronic neonate doll. This intrigued me, so I Google searched the term. I was brought to a wonderful page, and my eyes lit up when I saw it. There on my computer screen were dolls, not just any dolls, but dolls that looked like baby think-it-over dolls from high school that I fell in love with. But the last part on the screen, but that wasn't the best part. The best part was anyone could buy them. They had a few different types. There were three basics, unweighted neonate, basic lightweight baby doll, weighted neonate, a basic play baby doll with a bag inside for additional weight, and the electronic neonate, an electronic baby similar to the real care baby. The difference between the real care and electronic neonate was the real care was a simulator on a real infant schedule, and the electronic neonate was a play doll that cycled through care quickly. I was so excited. Here is my chance to finally own an electronic baby. I made are made from the doll that I loved. The excitement was short-lived when I realized the neonate store was closing. Not just closing, but closing in a week. There we go. Got her snapped up. Um, where was I? On the plus side, all the dolls and items were 50% off, so I called my boyfriend crying. Here I found the exact baby I had wanted for a couple, from a couple years prior to find, out, to find out it was slipping through my hands. He told me to call and order one, to put it on my credit card, and he'd pay my card. The joy then returned. Only... To come crashing down when I called. I first asked if they had a Caucasian, any Caucasian electronic neonate boys left. I was told there wasn't any. I asked if there was any electronic neonates left. The lady was kind and apologized saying they were all sold. I was on the verge of tears. Then she then told me she had one Caucasian weighted neonate boy left. I figured it was better than nothing. So I decided on him an extra set of diapers. I now regret not getting a few other things from the neonates. I set it up to have my baby shipped to my boyfriend as I knew getting a doll delivered to my home my parents would be angry and say I was too old for dolls. I got to the card information. I gave the lady my card number and she apologized, apologized saying she only took Visa and MasterCards, which my card was neither of those. I asked if she could hold the order and if my boyfriend could call with his number. She said that was fine. So I called him telling him what was going on. He then called and finished the order. I was ecstatic. I began going through baby names to find the perfect name. Oh, and I went to Toys R Us to pick up that pack and play. A few days later, my boyfriend called after he had gotten done with work to let me know the baby boy was delivered. He couldn't I couldn't wait till he drove down for the weekend. I had hit up a few thrift stores waiting. I also pulled out all the baby stuff I had had from when I had a life-size doll as a child. I got everything washed up and ready for the new bundle. Friday was Valentine's Day, so my boyfriend drove down after work. He got to my house late that evening and brought the box right into the house. I kissed him and ran down to my room with the box. Welcome, Skylar Nicholas. And that is how I got into 
the baby dolls and getting my first neonate. This was back in 2003. So that's how like my journey started as an adult. Um, or should I say partially started as an adult? Because um, there's a whole nother blog. What time am I at? There's a whole nother blog that I'll read um, in another video. This one is how I found out about the Baby Think It Over dolls, which is actually the blog before I just read. So, actually, you know what? You guys, if you want to read that one, you can go read that one because there's pictures of the babies on there as well. But the blog, if you want to know what that is, if you go to my homepage for YouTube, Excuse me, I got a burp stuck. On the tab that has like YouTube, like Facebook links and whatnot, there is a big orange B that says blogger. If you click on that, it'll take you right to my blog. And like I said, I have only got those two up right now. I haven't really written much since. But, you know, it's just... When I get time, sometimes I go in and write, I'll go in and write some things, you know, if I have a little downtime here or there. So, that's it for this video, and Little Miss, like I said, her name, Kayana, Kai, Kaya Anna, Kaya, see that's why I always call her Kayana. There's a Y, an I and a Y, so that's where I'm getting messed up. Looks really cute in her matching outfit that matches her sister, Ireland. So I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you all later. Bye.